utilizing 187 rolls of duct tape to make 2,000 feet of rope and a canopy of 500 square feet, it's been a monumental undertaking. Busters off the ground! And this is the moment of truth. Will a duct tape parachute Three. save your life? Two, one, go! He's released! Oh. Oh. It's opening! It's opening! Incredibly, Buster looks like he's going to make it. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. The duct tape parachute is working. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Buster. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh. no. Oh. oh, my goodness. That was ugly. We just did our duct tape parachute test, and man. Do you think Buster survived? No. I thought he was either going to go perfectly or horribly, and both things happened. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it was awesome. I'm not getting a pulse. So I want to confirm on that last drop that Buster died. He landed at about 28 miles per hour, which is equivalent to falling out of a fourth or fifth story window. Some people in history have survived such a drop. Most don't. But that drop did yield one piece of very compelling data. And that is, once the chute opened, and it was successfully opened, even though it was for a brief period of time, the speed at which Buster was descending was 13 miles per hour, precisely the number that Valerie's math said he should be falling at. I wish we could do it again. Actually, there's no reason that we can't do it again. You guys want to go for another run? Yes. Excellent. This might actually work. I got to tell you, I'm a little surprised.